Welcome back to Grilling with Grove. My name is Austin and today what I've got going for you is some roasted pig. A couple months back I was able to roast a couple of pigs and so I stringed together some video and I'm going to show you just a couple things that we did. So stick around. In front of me I have some It's Incredible marinade packages. So the instructions of this package say for each package add one stick of room temperature butter and mix with 10 ounces of water. So I've got three packages and that's about the amount of water we need. And I've got some butter that I've pre-melted. So we're gonna mix all this together and then I'll show you a photo of that when we're done. So here's our pig. We got it at a pretty good price. It was a 60 pound pig and we paid $120 for it. Right now what we're doing is just splitting the rib cage open. So it came kind of pre-open, but not all the way. So to lay it flat the way we wanted it, we just had to split that rib cage open. You can see the marinade in the background. And actually I used this as an injection and went ahead and just injected the ham and the shoulder of the pig. That way we can get some flavor on the inside of the meat versus just having flavor on the outside. Another thing that we did was we went ahead and created a vinegar sauce. We did this in the style of East Carolina, so it's vinegar and red pepper flakes with some other ingredients as well. Here's a shot of our pig, and we also wrapped the legs and feet of the pig and the snout just so that it doesn't burn. And over the top, we're going to use that rub sitting right there. And this just helps us create a nice little bark on the outside of the pig that's going to help give us some added flavor later when we pull it. This is after about two hours. We've got a chimney full of charcoal on each side of the pig, and we're starting our basting process now. And we're doing that so that the pig remains moist and it is going to be tender at the end. So we're just going liberally with that about every hour or so. Here's our pig after about the four hour mark and that aluminum foil is catching some of the smoke. So that's good. And we're starting to kind of brown up nicely. Here's our pig after seven hours and it's browned up nicely. Uh, for a little bit better presentation, I think we would wrap next time, uh, but this didn't at all affect the flavor of the meat. It was still a really delicious pig. Here's the pig, and we've got four hours left, but it's already reached its internal temperature of 190. So what we're going to do is just kind of hold it there. And it did get as high as 205 degrees while we were holding, uh, but that's okay. Holding it between that 190 to 205 just got really tender. There's the main man himself, Webb Travis. Uh, a little bit more on him later. Uh, but what we've done here is we've pulled the pig, and you can see the head is disconnected from the body. And what we did was we just pulled the pig in itself and mixed it with the juices left over from that basting sauce. And we went ahead and threw some more rub down as well just to help give that meat some flavor. We're back. Hopefully you liked the videos and photos I shared from the pig. Now I did have some help out there. Uh, a guy named Webb Travis helped me out. It was my first time doing a pig, but he had done some before. Uh, so he was really able to walk me through it and uh, help me out with kind of the parts that I didn't know. Not really hard. Uh, the pig was really good, in fact, and uh, most of the people that talked to me said that it was the best pig that they've ever had. Uh, so much so that leadership wants to do four pigs next time instead of one. Uh, now that's going to be quite the undertaking, uh, but hopefully I'll get some good video and photos of that pig and be able to go in more detail about uh, how we throw it down. All right, everyone, if you like what I'm doing, go and give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you won't miss us on another one. All right, see you on the next one.